Universal presents Gangbusters. Calling the police, calling the G-men, calling all Americans to war on the underworld. Gangbusters, with the cooperation of law enforcement officers of the United States, presents a picture of the endless war of the police on the underworld. Illustrating the clever operation of law enforcement officers in the work of protecting our citizens. The all-American crusade against crime. I don't see what makes Bannister so sure the Morris gang set those fires at the other end of the harbor. Mainly because they promised this town a reign of terror, I suppose. Yeah, but gangs went for money, and you can't get rich setting bonfires. Morris isn't out to get rich. He says he's after revenge. He wants to scare the entire city government out of office. The man's crazy. He must be. Doesn't make sense to me. Well, anyway, we're sure missing a lot of good news stories by sticking around here while the rest of the waterfront's burning up. None of those two men Bannister trailed into Frenchies are members of Mortis' gang. But since they are. Hold it. Turn around. All right, Copper. Nix on that stuff, the boss don't want him killed. Bill! with me. I may need you. I'll go after him, officer. Go into Frenchies and see what happened to Tim. I think we can lose him.
I got one good print off that uh, glass, Bannister. That's a break. Have a look, Nolan. Hey, Bill. I think we got something here. The slug on the right is the one that was shot at you. It was fired from the same gun that killed Corky Watts. That gives us a definite murder charge against the owner. Now, if we can establish his identity and tail him, we'd be in a spot to bust his game wide open. Hey, Bannister. There's your man. He's really got a record. Ted Lane, he's not the man that shot at me. It's got to be. If the fingerprint you brought in, it's his. Ted Lane committed suicide months ago while I was waiting for the chair. Another one, huh? Eh? Well, it begins to look as if there must be something to this League of Murdered Men business. Doesn't seem possible, but it sure looks like it. Hey, maybe this Professor Mortis has got some way of getting them and bringing them back to life. Oh, ridiculous. I'm not so sure. I've got a picture for you, Bill. A good clear one for a change. It's a blow of one I took when they were going to the Frenchies. Uh, this is the man that killed Corky Watts and took a shot at me. And his real name is Ted Lane. Fingerprints just don't lie. Hey, I think I've got it. These lugs have all had their faces altered. No wonder we couldn't recognize any of them. You mean plastic surgery? Let's see. Sure, that could be the same face, retreaded. Give a copy of that to every man on the force. Dragnet? No. When we find him, we're going to trail him night and day until he leads us to the League of Murdered Men and Professor Mortis. You are not to remove those bandages for a couple of days, Mr. Taboni. When you do, you'll find I've changed your face so you won't recognize it yourself. Well, that ain't going to make any hit with me. I like my pen the way it was. Did you really? Well, of course, there's no accounting for taste. Well, what sort of a crack is that, a crack? I almost got Bannister for you today, Chief, alive. I know. I also know Bannister almost got you, dead. That wouldn't disturb me much. But, Mr. Bernard, the police got a very good photograph of you. They expect to use it to locate you. Then trace you to me and stamp out the league. It'll take better police than they have in this town to trail me. They're a bunch of saps. If they weren't, they'd quit fighting me and resign, as I advise them to do. I'll prove that to the city tonight with this little device I've contrived. You better come away from there. Those dials are set at 5.40, 6.40, and 7.40. Now, I set this 540. Flip the switch. 640. Snap it. And 740. A remote control? It has a radius of about 15 miles, which is sufficient. I shall explode these in the most important building in the city tonight. Moreover, I shall tell the citizens in advance what I intend to do, and the exact hour, and defy the police to prevent me. How are you going to tip them off, Professor? Attention, citizens. Tune in your shortwave sets at 5 p.m. today to another crime wave broadcast by Professor Mortis. Important. Do you suppose a fool really will attempt another broadcast? Professor Mortis is not a fool, Mayor Hanson. If he says he's going to broadcast, you can bet he'll do it. Well, why aren't you doing something about it? We are. We're going to try to locate his sending set by picking up his beam when he starts to broadcast. You've tried that before and failed. I know, but all we can do is try. We've got cars stationed on turntables to pick up his beam when he goes on the air. Well, I better start fishing for it. It's just five. Here it comes. Swing the car easy to my right. Fellow citizens, 
This is Professor Mortis speaking, addressing you from the grave to which you sent me. Why have you disregarded my last broadcast? Why have you not put an end to my reign of terror? By throwing out of office all your civic authorities. Mayor Hansen, your judges, especially your stupid, blundering police department. That's funny. I can't find where it's coming from. It keeps changing directions. Your police believe they are closing in on the League of Murdered Men. <laughs> to prove how helpless they are, I issue this challenge. Tonight, at 8 o'clock, I shall destroy the nearly completed city hall. And I defy the police to stop me. Stand by, Tim, for calls when they come in from our cars. City desk. I'll hold the line. Hello? I see, okay. Car 14 is some kind of trouble. Interference, probably. Hello, Ed. Happy. I'm calling from the chief's office. Did you hear the broadcast? Yeah. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Hello. Car 66. All right, I'll tell him. Car 66 couldn't locate the beam either. Hold on, Ed. Something breaking. Hello? 74. Go ahead. What? What course? Hello, Bannister speaking. What's wrong, Andy? Oh, I see. Thanks. What's wrong? None of our cars have been able to get a line on the radio beam. It's been shifting around in all directions. More place inefficiency. How could a broadcasting beam shift location? Well, it was probably sent from a moving car. Scoop lead on mortar story. Police unable to triangulate for sending station. Broadcast made from a moving car. Now play up the mad genius angle. Genius, later. the man's insane. Maybe. Better call the contractor and stop construction. And no night shift tonight. What, make a laugh stock of myself? That man wouldn't dare blow up that building. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I'm not going to let you risk the lives of hundreds of workmen just because you're afraid of making a mistake. Hello, Building Superintendent. O'Brien speaking. Did you hear that lunatic's broadcast just now? Better stop work for the day and call off the night shift. Right. Bye. It's a fine thing when the city government can be shoved sure, around by... Sure, headache, Bill. Take all the men you need, and don't forget you're probably dealing with a madman. Yes, sir. Come on, Tim. Hello, Ed. Well, Chief O'Brien won the come argument. On, come on. All work call off to further orders. Hang up on Bad it. I want to get detailed. this picture. Quieter! Find a quiet side street in the park. Find anything? I would think the crew must have left on the run. There's nothing up above either. We've been over it with a pine cone. Well, if there's nothing inside, what are we afraid of? That's just it. We don't know what to be afraid of. We're dealing with a madman. Anything can happen. Well, what do we do? The sensible thing to do is to get a safe distance away and watch. Get back to your squad cars. Three minutes. drive around the corner and park. I want to get some pictures of this mess before and after. And now's the time to get them before. Hey, wait. That's no place to be prowling around tonight. Oh, there's plenty of time. It's only 7.20. Seems later than that to me. Go on and park.
minute or two until late. Where's Vicky? We're inside getting pictures. Inside? Is she crazy? <laughs> I rather hope Bannister will be in the building. He's becoming somewhat of a nuisance. Vicky! What'd you let her go in there for? Vicky! Vicky Logan! Where are you? Water Trap, Chapter 7 of Gangbusters, at this theater next week.